How y'all doing and welcome back to another Bubby Golf video. Today we are out here at Gentle Creek Country Club. Big thank you to Kevin for setting this up and having us out. I appreciate you, brother. If you don't know, Kevin's the man who made the beautiful, good, good putter. Talked about it in my last video, or maybe that was two videos ago. Love that joint. He regripped it for me, rolling the rocks so well now. But yeah, we actually skipped ahead. We are starting on hole three today out here at Gentle Creek in this, uh, I don't even know what episode this is, a break 37, but it's getting to almost too many. So hopefully we do it here today. We are starting on a short par four. Oh, uh, it's drivable from that tee box, not from here. We're gonna try and break 37. That's the goal. I played really good golf over there in the UK, in Scotland and England. Let's hope it transferred over here. Gotta be honest with you, haven't swung a club since, but that's fine. I don't practice too much, so no expectations. I think it's the best way for a golfer of my caliber to come out here and play. Just see if we break 37, let's get right to it. Been down there before. I think with how that flew, kind of knuckling spin, it should be up there pretty close to the green. Let's see if we can start out with a birdie. I mean, I feel like we start out with birdie a lot in these videos because we start on uh, we start on par fives at Trails of Frisco. Hasn't worked out yet, so I'm just gonna hit the ball. I surprised myself with that one. We're honestly, we're even with the front edge of the green. Feels good, you know the driver. Love doing that. Uh, it's gonna kind of bump it over this bunker, let it run on up there. Start off hot. Actually, I'm not even going to think about starts. I'm not going to think about anything. Let's just take it shot by shot. Break 37. Come on, Tom. Oh, I don't think that's long. Is that good? Come yeah. on. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, Kev. I love that, man, Kev, bro. That's your cart, bro. I don't need to go back there. I'm going to go up there and start reading that putt. Shout out, Kev. Just great guy. Let's <laughs> see if we can make a putt. I'm starting to learn grain, y'all, and Kev is teaching me. Kev's actually gonna be a big help on the greens today because I have no clue what grain means. I think it's gotta be pretty straight, dude. With that terrain, I touch this way and it'll just stop turning. So I like, I honestly like you right in here. Love it. And it's gonna be quick. That was a good read. You know what, like, like, right. like you okay. said, okay. tap in pars. Tap in pars get me to break in 37, so I'm happy with that. Hit a good putt, rolled it well. I'm fine, I'm fine. That's the thing, I think a reason I felt so confident on the greens in the UK is what you see is what you get. There's not, there's not grain over there, is there? No, there's no grain. What you see is what you get, and I love that. All right, y'all, we have made it up to hole four out here at Gentle Creek. Sweating already. Hole two of the video, we are currently even par. This guy's got some. I think that's Frank Ocean. I got some Frank Ocean playing. That's a vibe. 497, downwind. Let's give it a rip. I think I might have hit it hard enough. Go. Get past that first one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh left kick, too. Left yeah. kick? Oh, boy. Come on. See, that's the thing with the driver, y'all. I kind of learn. I don't know how. I'm be honest with y'all. I don't really learn stuff. I just kind of figure it out as I'm doing it. I'm somehow playing a fade now and it feels really comfortable to me. I'm playing a draw with everything else. The driver feels good to play this kind of fade action. I like it. I like it. All right, y'all. We got, I think we got a very generous bounce over there. We have 112 yards left. It was a 497 yard hole. You do the math. 385? 385. 385. That feels nice. You know, been in the gym. Come on, let's make a birdie. Sit on it. Sit. Oh, that feels so good, y'all. It feels good. Guess I'm saying, sticks that thing up. Let's go, Trace. Let's make a birdie. Get the one under. All right, y'all. We've made it up to the green. Very happy with that shot. Our uh, proximity to the pin today, I guess, on approach shots. One of them was kind of a chip shot. It's been very good. Above average for your boy, that's for sure. Let's make a birdie. Let's make a birdie. Give us some breathing room. Though. Par par again, happy with that. Try and focus on the next shot. Obviously, you hear a lot of people who are very good in the sport of golf, that's kind of how they look at it. This series is about me trying to progress. And obviously, if there's those that are really good at it and you have the opportunity to learn from them, you got to do it. So, cool. Next shot, I think, is a par three. It's the only thing I'm thinking about. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, we've made it up to a uh, 
Hole five at Gentle Creek, hole three of the video, 180 yards right back into the wind. Honestly, with that wind, I'm gonna hit a choke up six. I'm gonna hit a choke up six iron, see if I can keep it under, yeah, 180 with this wind, it's gotta be playing 195. Let's hit a good shot, make a birdie here that's huge, make a par, very happy with it. Come on, wind, you gotta hit it. Love that, happy with that. That's a shot I had to learn over in the uh, UK. It was so windy. I actually choke up a bit on it, keep the swing a bit more compact and make a good pass at it. You know, you don't need, I don't keep that club head speed super high, but just kind of lower the club head speed a bit, take a lower club, let it kind of cut through that wind a bit more. I think what I'm saying makes sense. Works for me. <laughs> Let's see if we can make a putt. All right, y'all, now that I'm thinking about it, I would say with the help Kev is giving me today, He's kind of, he's, yeah, we pretty much, he, would be, he would pretty much be my caddy this video, and I should have listened to him. Six iron was about a club too long. He told me he hit seven. I felt the gust standing over the ball. I wasn't even standing over the ball. I was behind the ball talking to Trace. I'm like, ah, I'm grab six iron. Wasn't the club. Seven iron would have been beautiful. Rolled down this hill. Now I'm short-sighted. Got the 64 degree in hand. Let's see if we can make something happen. This would be a great par after that. Just stay on that shelf. Stay on that shelf. Stay on that shelf, please. I think I'm playing inside left. I like that. Inside left. Let's make a par. Let's scramble for a par here. Come on, Kev. Yeah, Come on, Kev. Oh, let's go. Uh -huh. Let's go. You get, you get my man Kev over there who knows how to regrain, helping me out. That's a huge par save. Huge par save. Let's go, y'all. Walking off three green. You know, that, that's the other thing I got to do is I, I make those dumb mistakes sometimes because I still, I guess I'm learning kind of the strategic approach of golf some. There, I know where the pin is. There's no need to take on the pin and make the hole harder on myself. Seven iron would have been like 25 feet left, maybe a little short left. Maybe would have caught that slope and rolled into the hole. We, we would have made it first hole in one, but yeah. Those are the little things I got to make. Luckily, we got away there even with that mistake with the par. Shout out Kev for the read. Next hole's a par five, ain't it? Yeah. Let's make something happen. All right, y'all, we got a par five here. Rip it up there, try and get home in two. Just, let's hit a good drive. Let's focus on that, hit a good drive. Carry. Yes, sir. Hey, Carry. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I love this paradigm, bro. It feels so good. Let's keep it rolling. Shout out Callaway. Paradigm, best driver in the game. All right, y'all, we hit a good drive there. Very happy with that. We found the middle of the fairway, 205 yards, a little uphill into the wind. Pins back left, so I'm just playing for the middle of the green. I got a five iron here. See if we can hit a good shot. Just get on the green, two putts for birdie, carry on to the next. Oh, that's got a draw. Let's chuck it well. Get over that bunker. Right, you know. <laughs> long putt, long chip, something. I struck that so well. Ball striking feels good. Just, we'll get up and down. Get up and down, make birdie the way you're supposed to. All right, y'all, we actually, we actually found the green here and walking up to the ball, Trace said, Trace said something very true. This might be the longest putt you can have on this green. It's gonna be breaking hard, right to left. This is just a speed putt. Just leg it up there, try and give yourself a really good look at birdie. Best case scenario, just have a tap in for birdie be happy with that let's, let's give it a roll also y'all as I walked up there by uh, the pen was taking a look at it I'm proud of this I looked at the cup and I know that if there's grain on the green the way the cup is cut the brown side right Kev the brown side is the way the grains going like the dead grass, you know, that's the direction of it okay understood your boys learning out here thank you Kev let's hit a good putt get it up there inside five feet very happy with that Mine's gonna be breaking pretty hard. I think I gotta give it about a cup and a half outside left. I just hammered it through it. Oh, wow, definitely, definitely did not want to, uh, oh, that you Kev? Yes, yeah, perfect. Good. Definitely did not want to leave a tester for par after reaching the green in two, but it's okay. Par, 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 start. Happy with that, very happy with that. Let's get on the whole five of this video. See if we can keep it rolling. Let's keep playing some good golf. All right, y'all, we've made it up to a 425 yard par four. Love this hole, sets up for a nice tight draw over that tree. 
See when you have a good drive up there? Uh, make a birdie. That'd be nice, but just focus on the drive instead of a good drive. Dude, I'm telling you, this, this might be the best my driver's ever felt. Driver feels phenomenal. Feels good. See the rest of the game to follow suit. I think we'll be in a good spot. Get up there, hit a good approach shot. Give ourselves a good look at birdie. All right, y'all, we have 86 yards left. Prime position. Very pleased with that drive. And Kev was just telling me, and I played out here a couple times, you miss it right, there's kind of a funnel that works all the way back towards the hole. Very excited about this shot. 86 yards, 58 degree in hand. Let's hit a good one up there. I'm gonna try and, ah, medium ball flight. Just hit the shot. Let's hit the shot, let's hit a good one. Come on, a little too much club. Well, not too much club, I just swung too hard at it. Very happy with that shot though. We got another birdie putt. I, I, I kind of like this progression in the game where I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm, I'm giving myself more looks of birdie. Makes me happy. I don't make birdies too often. Let's see if we can make one. Trace and I were just talking about looking at grain and we're both like, honestly, when, when I look at the green we, we just see green, we just see green. I can't see grain. The only way I can see it is if I look at the hole and I just learned that. Garrett taught it to me yesterday and then you kind of reinforced that same lesson today. So I appreciate you guys. So grain is kind of going like that. Yep. So it's going to be quick. A little left like to right. Straight down. Yeah. A little left to right. Quick putt. They're not that fast, Tom. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, obviously... Learning grain is definitely an advantage as I'm like trying to get better at the sport. But sometimes I stand over that putt there and I'm thinking like, gosh, it's now grain. This joint's gonna be fast. And I do that. Had a good read, just didn't hit it. It's okay. All right, y'all, solid par there. We have made it up to hole eight, hole six of this video. We have a 411 yard dog leg left par four. I kind of like that the wind's into us. Makes it a bit more comfortable of a drive for me. I gotta go right over that bunker on the left side. Keep doing what I've been doing with the driver. That's all there is to it. Hit a good drive, put ourselves in a good spot. Let's keep it going. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that hit a good golf shot for y'all. Oh, that's gotta sit so hard. I hammered that. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, we're good. Thank you. That is why like, see, some of y'all may be wondering like, Bubby, why does the wind on a hole make you more comfortable? because that wind was dead into us. So I know if I miss a little bit right, it should hopefully still keep me in play, keep me short of that fence. It's not on the road. And I think it did just that. Let's go up there. Let's, let's, let's hit another good shot. I think I got over. I don't know, y'all. We got lucky. There's a black mark on my ball. It must have hit the fence, went right here. I see this tree here, and I do have the 64 degree. Shout out Callaway. I'm going to just rip a 64 degree over him. That's all I'm thinking. I don't feel comfortable with any of these punch shots. I'm just going to take a hack at this and hope it gets over. Oh, that's good. That, that ball was sitting down in that stuff. That was a full swing as hard as I could. Got the job done. That's all we were looking for there. See if we can get up and down for par. Beyond happy with that shot. We got 69 yards left. Going to try and bump it into that hill. Let it scoot on back there. See if we can make a par. This would be a great part to keep everything rolling. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Kev. Good caddy in there, brother. I appreciate it. Let's make a par. Let's go. All right, y'all. We got a very good look at par here after that fiasco. I'm happy to be in this position. Just hit a good putt. We're due to make a putt here outside of like 10 feet. Just outside right. Come on, Tom. Let's go, Kev. Let's go, Kev. Let's go. All around. All around. Let's go. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Come on. That was huge. That was huge. Keeping the pars rolling. Shot by shot. Shot by shot. All right, y'all. Very, very happy with that par there. We have 179 yard par three. Wind helping out the right a little bit. I think it's just gonna be a smooth nine iron. Put one up there close, ride that wind. Whole sets up for a draw. Feeling good about this. Let's hit a good shot. Let's hit a good shot. 
talk to me. Talk to me. Sit. Sit. Yes. I'm happy with that. Come on, Kev. Let's keep it rolling, brother. Let's keep it rolling. Little left to right, Kev. Man, that's pretty straight. It's pretty straight. Maybe a touch. Like, I'd say from here, like, six-ish inches left to right. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a roll. Yeah. See if we make a birdie. All right, y'all, we have made it up to hole eight of this video, hole 10 out here at uh, Gentle Creeks. Obviously, we started on hole three. We have a uh, par four, 460, four, three. 463 yards straight away. Start out with a good drive, take a shot by shot, make a good pass at the ball here. Come on, let's get to it. Come on, Trace, let's go. Feeling good. I'm liking playing that little fade up there. It feels nice. Let's keep it rolling. All right, y'all. Very happy with that drive there. It's a 463 yard hole. <laughs> we have 60 yards left. Just bump it up there. I mean, if you do that math, I guess technically that means uh, 403 yards, but that's playing it with the turns. I'd say probably 370, 380 poke. Just bump it up there. Give ourselves a good look at birdie. 60 yards. Feel very comfortable with this shot. I like this. Get up that hill. Get up that hill. Get up. All right. I like that. Got on the proper shelf of the green. Very happy with that shot. Let's make a birdie. Come on. Well, it's just, let's hit a good putt. Let's hit a good putt. I'm seeing uphill, a little left to right here. Grain kind of going that way. Not thinking about it. Just hit a good putt. Just didn't. All right, yet again, another par. Happy with that. We are on to the final hole of this video. It is going to be a par three into the wind a little bit. And you know what? We're not going to talk about it. We'll figure out what the, uh, what the par of the nine holes we played was after the hole's done. Because obviously we started on hole three to get ahead of groups. Our ninth hole will be the 11th hole of Chantel Creek. Let's just make a par and then it doesn't matter. Just come on, hit a good tee shot. All right, y'all, we got 198 yards. Wind is almost directly off the left. I think there is going to be a little bit of hurt up there. Just a nice full flush six iron should get the job done. Feel very comfortable with that because the wind isn't hurting too much. Give me a nice full flush six. I like it. Put a good swing on it. Just get lucky. We're fine over there. We're fine over there. <sighs> Not a good pass at it. I'm not gonna lie, I was standing over it and I was thinking like, I would feel super comfortable just hitting a knockdown five. Decided to stick with it. Struck it well though. <laughs> Should be up there just about pin high. It's hit a good chip. All right, y'all, we found my ball. Not in the best circumstance. I guess I have plenty of club. This is past the pin. Got the trees up there, but I think 58 should be able to keep it below that. Just kind of bump it up there, get it on the green. See if we can give ourselves a look at par. I caught it well, picked it very cleanly. Didn't want to flirt with the tree, didn't want to flirt with the bunker. Get, gives ourselves a putt of putt, it's all we can ask for. All right, y'all, we got a par putt. It's all you can ask for after that tee shot. Hit a very nice bounce back shot. This thing is gonna be breaking big right to left. Put a good roll on it, get it down there, see if we can drop it. Come on, Chris, let's go. Come on, that's it. We finally did it. Regardless of if it was par 35 or par 36, we just shot even par. Come on, dude. That feels so good. That feels so good, bro. I cannot tell you the last time I've shot even par in nine holes of golf. Dude, come on, bro. Trace has been here since the very beginning of the start of this series. Was this episode seven or episode eight? It's one of those, yeah, I don't know. One of those. Oh my gosh, that felt so good, y'all. Let's go that's one of my best nines ever no birdies no bogeys just nine pars 
big thank you. Big thank you to Kev for uh, setting this up, getting the tea time out here. He, him and Matt Kendrick, they set all of us up, making sure we have places to play. Thank you guys. Oh, bro, let's go. I think that was actually technically a 35 because we played we played three par threes and two par fives. So I think that comes in at a 35 regardless. Also, let's show Kev's work real quick. Look at this beautiful thing. Shout out Kev, makes some beautiful putters, re-gripped it, gorgeous things. That feels nice, bro. That feels real good. Long putt there to save par. Long putt on the first par three to save par. Made a pretty long putt on, I forgot which hole it was, but anyways, love this putter. Good, good putter. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We did it. I guess game's trending in the right direction. Uh, yeah, I know what else there's to say. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the series. And now we kind of transition into, well, not kind of, we transition into 18 holes of golf for these now. So break 37, multiply it by two, becomes a break 74. That is gonna be the goal on this series now because that's what I've kind of noticed. I, the caliber of golfer I am, and like where I am, I guess, in my golf career per se, I can play nine holes of good golf. It's a different story when you gotta do it for 18 holes. Nine pars, feels good. These guys, I think, maybe think we're still on the hole, so I'm gonna wrap this intro up. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for tuning in for the Break 37 series. No more. Break 74 coming soon. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Much love, y'all. Peace. You know, y'all, it's not all the time you celebrate pars. It's actually quite an uncommon thing to celebrate pars, but a golfer of my caliber, I'm gonna celebrate pars. And today we broke 37. Thank you guys for watching the video. We broke 37 with nine pars. I was talking to my dad, and honestly, I don't think that's something I've ever done in my golf career. I talked to the guys in the Good Good House and in Good Good, obviously, who I golf with all the time for the past three years. I can't think of the last time I've made nine pars. So tonight, we are celebrating with the Par Cigar from Greenside Cigars. Look at this, look at that, that box is clean. Got 20 of them joints there. Enjoying myself one now, but yeah, thank you to Greenside for sending me a box. Celebrate breaking 37. Now, as you guys know, it is on to the break 74 portion of the series. 18 holes of golf coming y'all's way. Super stoked for it. Enjoying the Par Cigar. Celebrating the dog for today. I hope you guys are having a blessed day, blessed night, blessed morning, blessed whatever time it is. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Much love, peace.